Hey there, Taurus. Uh, welcome to your reading for the month of April 2018. Uh, this month I'm doing the custom readings again this month, and you can get one of those down below in the link in the description below. I also have my three-month readings on sale. It's a perfect time to get a three-month reading because we are in the second quarter of the year, and uh, those are 50% off for until April 1st, so now is the time to get one of those. But let's see what is coming up for you this month of April. And yeah, second second chances, which is interesting. Um, again, I always think that during retrogrades, you know, threes come up a lot, and you have a three here, so we'll talk about that in a second. But jack of spades, probably. I feel like some of you are learning something about somebody that could be very surprising. So that's interesting. Um, that kind of popped into my head this month, and um, yeah, that could be very interesting as well. I feel like also you could be discovering some sort of hidden talent as well. Maybe that's what it is. Um, you know, I think that there's probably something that you just don't, um, you know, that you just don't use or you just don't put out there, some sort of hidden talent or something that uh, could be very valuable. And maybe that's what you discover this month as well, I would say. And uh, yeah, I mean, I find with earth signs in particular, they're really bad at, you know, not letting their like hidden talents out, not kind of using things or not seeing how good they are at something. So definitely needing to focus on that. Next, you have the three of hearts. And so second chances. I feel like there could be some sort of second chance coming up for you this month, and it could be in pretty much anything. It could be love, business, whatever. Uh, also, very creative card. I think that you have a lot of flexibility. Yeah, that's definitely the word that's popping to my head, flexibility. I think that you could be very flexible this month, and that you could change a lot of things about your life, about you know pretty much anything, your business, whatever the case may be. So I think that there is kind of this opportunity for you to uh, rearrange things in your life at this time. And I think it would be a good time for you to kind of like test things out and try new things. Uh, and again, that's a very general statement, but I would say it's about any, everything. Um, you know, it could be as simple as how you dress to as, you know, complex as you're, you know, changing your entire business or something like that. Uh, next you have the 10 of hearts, fortune after difficulty. So seeing things change after a difficult period of time. Uh, also family being very important for you this month as well. You could be getting a lot of support from your family or seeing family or whatever. Really good card for dating, I would say. So if you're single, definitely get out there and date. Try to meet people at this time. Very good card for meeting people. And even if you're not single, amazing card for networking, um, you know, getting together in groups. I've said it since last year with all this energy entering into Capricorn. Amazing time for friendship changes, changes with business, pretty much anything, I would say. So really good card for that. I would also say it's an amazing card for loyalty. And like figuring out who is really loyal to you this month as well. Next year, the seven of clubs. <clears throat> I feel like you have something about you that you just need to bring out again back to the hidden talents that could help you escape from your situation. Uh, this card is sometimes called the mice and it's like a card of, you know, mice chew through problems. They chew through things. It's slow, but eventually they get through the problem. And that's kind of what it says about you that you are trying to escape from something or really it's about improvements, improving your life, improving your situation in some way. But you just need to figure out how to do it. And again, I think it's probably through one of your hidden talents. I think you just need to kind of like let it out there. And I also think you are becoming more confident this year as well, which I think will help you kind of like get this stuff out of you basically. Next, you have the five of hearts. Uh, ignore jealous people around you. I'd say if people are jealous of you and something, hold on one second, there we go. If people are jealous of you at this time or you're experiencing jealousy or anything, just ignore it. This can also represent the birth of something new in your life, some sort of change. And again, I feel like for you, it's about hidden talent. Very simple, very easy uh, kind of reading for you. And finally, again, Queen of Clubs, becoming more confident, becoming more sure of yourself and your hidden talents and kind of moving past you know, hiding things or not letting, not using your talents for things in general. So that's what I would say is your main theme for the month of April is to kind of use your hidden talents for success at this time. Uh, this is an amazing card for seduction as well. So amazing card for dating, meeting people, getting out there. Also a great card for developing confidence as well. And also for uh, I would say communication. You have all these communication cards, so learning how to communicate better or just communicating better with people in general. So it looks like a really good month for you. A lot of good stuff coming up. So thank you for watching. And again, if you'd like a reading, link is in the description below.